Hello, welcome to story time. It's nice to be with you again. Let's do our opening song. Make the sign for hello and make the sign for friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to read a book. What do you think we're going to be reading about today? Maybe, maybe birds? Hmm. In Michigan, anyway. Spring is on its way. It's not here yet, but it's on its way. The sky is blue, and every once in a while you can hear a bird chirping. I am a bird. That's what this book is called by Hope Lim, illustrated by Haiwan Yum. I am a bird. Do you guys like to pretend that you're birds sometimes? You go flapping around your wings. I am a bird. Can you see her riding on the back of the, her dad's bike, flapping her arms, pretending she's a bird? I am a bird. Every morning I fly like a bird on daddy's bike. Caca, caca. I sing like a bird on the way to school. Caca, caca. People wave and smile. And the birds sing back. Look at all the birds. Caca! One morning, I see a woman with a blue coat and a big bag. She is walking very fast. She does not wave. She does not smile. Hmm. Can you see her expression? She looks a little, I don't know, sad or mad or something. Hmm. The next morning I see her again with the same blue coat and the same big bag. I do not smile. I do not wave. I turn and look and wonder, what's inside the bag? Where is she going? Why doesn't she smile and wave? Hmm, what is her story, I wonder? Day after day, my bird song stops when I spot the blue dot in the distance. Daddy, I don't like her. She's just a lady taking a walk. But what if she's not? Ooh, now she's having scary thoughts about her. I hide behind Daddy's back when we pass her. One morning, we are late for school and we don't pass the woman. Then, near the end of the park, I see her. Can you guys tell what she's doing? When we get closer, I hear her. Chee, chee, chee. She's whispering a song to the birds. I turn and look until she sees me. I smile and wave. Caca! Chee, chee, chee. <laughs> I am a bird again. Caca! And now I know she is just like me. Chee, chee, chee. We are birds. Caca! Chee, chee, chee! Tweet, tweet! <laughs> so many bird sounds. So many ways to be able to pretend we're birds, right? 
I am a bird. Isn't that nice? As you know, birds live in all kinds of different houses, right? They have, they make different kinds of nests or they live in different kinds of trees, right? So this is a book called A House for Every Bird by Megan Maynor and it's illustrated by Keilani Juanita. A House for Every Bird. Hmm. What is this about, I wonder? What do you think? It looks like a little girl likes to draw, right? I bet many of you like to draw. I drew all these birds and a house for every bird. Dooby doo. Red for red. Here's a red bird. And she drew a, a red house for the red bird. Tall for tall. A tall house for a tall bird. A house for one, a house for all. Ta-da! What are you doing, Bluebird? That house is not for you. Oh, no. This is the house for me. Orange is my color. So bold, so bright, full of light like me. But you're blue. Only on the outside. What? That doesn't make sense. I'm just going to step in here and put you back where you belong. You too, orange bird. Darling, this is where I belong. Blue is my vibe. So cool, so calm, so chill, you know? Hmm, those birds don't want to stay where she put them. Hey, small bird, what are you doing in that large house? Shoo, shoo. Let me tell you, I have a whole flock of cousins. We are in a singing group together and our act is huge. We will fill this place up. But that's not fair to large bird. He can't live in a small house. Um, hi, I get worried in big spaces. I feel much better in this small house where I can touch all the walls at once. Please don't yell at me. These birds have minds of their own. Okay, but that's enough. I am the boss here and I say no more switching. Maybe I should have used tape. Where's my glue stick? Are you gonna use that swing? Honestly, no, I get motion sickness. Sweet, I'm training for the Ninja Bird Warrior auditions and I could really use it. Grip strength is key, you know? Wanna trade for this pond view? How delightful, yes please. No, no, no. You have it all wrong. Ducks like ponds and parakeets like swings. Not this duck. I don't swim, man. Nor this parakeet. Ugh! What is going on in this neighborhood? Birds, you need to stay where I put you. Everybody, stay. Stay, stay. Oh, look at that. Birds are going all over the place. <laughs> are you kidding me? Why are you all so difficult? We like what we like, darling. That's not difficult, it's simple. I was trying to help. I made a house for every bird. How was I supposed to know what you like? Ask us. Oh, but I thought I knew. Ask us. You mean I'm supposed to just ask us? Hmm. Okay. 
Um, green bird, you're still in the greenhouse. What kind of house do you want? I'm good. Really? I got one match right? You're a green bird who likes a green house? Actually, I like this house because it's next door to my best friend. Hello, but I don't mind the color. <laughs> I guess you really can't tell a bird by its feathers. Sing it. And the only way to know a bird is to get to know a bird. Rock, now you've got it, rock. That's using your bird brain. You can tweet that again. I think those are some silly birds. Okay, I'm gonna make some bird food, doobie doo. Seeds for one, seeds for all. Wait, does every bird like seeds? I prefer nuts. Bugs for me. Veggie burrito, no onions, double guac. <laughs> Many birds like seeds, don't they? But some like prefer other things, maybe some worms or some nuts. Who knows? Maybe you've noticed I have a few birds over here. Shall I introduce you? <laughs> First we have, what is this? An eagle, right? An eagle has a, a nice, sharp, powerful beak and they're big birds, right? And they fly way up high in the sky and they build nests up in tall in the trees or on high cliffs, right? An eagle. And they swoop down to get their food. They have strong talons and, and beaks. Those are eagles, right? Do you guys know what this one is? Can you tell? That is an ostrich right? Does an ostrich fly? Nope. An ostrich is one of the kinds of birds that cannot fly. There aren't too many, but an ostrich is one of them. He has wings, but he can't fly. He's too big. Ostriches live in Africa, and they cannot fly. And it's the world's largest bird. Do you know what this guy is? It's a cockatoo, right? It's a type of parrot, it's called a cockatoo. Kind of pretty, huh? And a cockatoo is noisy and it's the loudest of the parrots, of the parrot family, right? They screech and they scream and they make all kinds of racket. And they're smart and curious and funny. And here is another kind of parrot that you might have might recognize, right? Parrots tend to be very, very colorful. Yeah, and they have a curved beak also so that they can eat, eat right, right? And parrots are believed to be the, the most intelligent, the smartest type of bird there is. Mm -hmm. And there are 372 types of parrots in the world. Can you believe it? Oh, and what do we have here? That's right, it's an owl, that's right. And owls, they, they like, they're nocturnal, right? They, they're awake at night usually, and they sleep during the day. It's called nocturnal. And they have very large eyes, and you know they can't move, they can't move their eyes. They just, so in order to move, look over there or look over here, they have to turn their whole head, right? because they can't move their eyes. And there are over 200 kinds of owls in the world. How about this one? What is this? Can you see the crest? Yeah, that's a blue jay, right? A blue jay. Blue jays are pretty noisy. They like to, they're songbirds, and they like to make, make a racket, right? You, you hear them probably most of you hear them where you live in the spring, right? And they're blue and they have that blue and white and they have that uh, crest on the top of their head. 
And here is one more type of songbird. What is this? The red breast should tell you, right? It's a robin. It's a robin, right? Robins tend to be brown or gray and they have a red tummy, right? And they are very common birds in, in North America where we live, right? They are one of the first birds you'll see in the spring usually. And sometimes you can see them pulling worms out of the ground or just flying around or building nests. And this is just a small number of birds. When you think about all the birds in the world, there are so many. It's very cool. You have to start looking with your eyes and listening with your ears to uh, notice all the birds in the world. Let's read another book about birds, shall we? This, this is a funny book because usually we hold books this way, right? And they go like this, but this one goes like this. And it's called Mel Fell by Corey R. Tabor. Mel Fell. Let's see if I can hold it right for you. Whoa. Let's see. Mel Fell. Okay. One day when Mama was away, Mel decided it was time to learn to fly. She had been in the nest long enough. Aren't you scared? asked her sister, Pim. Yes, said Mel, but I won't let that stop me. Yes, I'm scared, but I'm going to be brave anyway. She looked down. Whoa, it sure is a long drop, said her brother, Pip. Well, said Mel, I've got wings. Mel was scared, and it was a long drop, but today was the day she would fly. See you soon, she told her siblings. That's her brother and sister. She jumped, she flipped, she spread her wings, and then she fell. Oh, no. She's zinging down there. Whoa, Mel fell and fell. Can you see the owl family watching her? Mel fell and fell. The squirrels tried to catch her. They really did. They'd grown quite fond of those squeaky little chirpers upstairs. Blast! Nuts! Oof! Aye! But it was no use. They missed her by a whisker. They missed her by a whisker. They tried. Whoa! Zeal! Zoo! Said the bees, but they barely show, barely slowed her down. They tried to help. They tried to help also. They're a little small though. We will save you. <laughs> I'm free. Even the spider lent a hand. Eight of them. The spider lent eight hands. Did that slow Mel down? Probably not a lot. But still, Mel fell. Do not fear, helpless little bird. I will catch you. <laughs> but still, Mel fell. She fell and fell. <gasps> oh, no, says the ladybug. Whoa, she's getting close to the ground now. What's going to happen? landed in some water. Splash! Whoa. Oh, now we turn the book this way. She, oh, Mel dived into the water. She snapped her beak and caught a fat little fish. Turn the book. <laughs> she kicked her legs. She wiggled her tail feathers. She spread her wings. 
and then this is this way and then whoa <laughs> she flew huh she flew right out of the water with a fish in her mouth Mel flew and flew there she goes back past the ants and the snail as Mel flew by the spider clapped her hands all eight of them clap 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 the bees said huzzah huzzah <laughs> she's going back up the squirrels raced her to the top Mama was waiting when she got there. I, I flew, I flew, said Mel. Oh, the fish now says, I'm flying, I'm flying. <laughs> when she opened her beak to tell her mother she flew, whoops, a fish fell out and flew down. I knew you could, said Mama. I knew I could too, said Mel. Do not fear, helpless little fish, I will catch you splash <laughs> and that's the end <laughs> mama knew she could fly mel fell let's do our zoom zoom song before our last book shall we hands together zoom 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 we're going to the moon Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Woo! All right. Maybe we'll do one more little thing. Can, can you pretend these? You can hold your hands up and pretend you have five birds in a nest, right? Five little birds in a nest in a tree are just as hungry as can be. Peep, said baby bird number one. Mother bird promised she would come. Peep, peep, said baby bird number two. If she doesn't come, what will we do? Peep, 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 said baby bird number three. I hope she can find this tree. Peep, 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 said baby bird number four. She was never so late before. Peep, 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 said baby bird number five. When will our mother bird arrive? Well, here she comes to feed her family. Here she goes, here she comes. They're all as happy as can be. Now they're all getting fed by Mama Bird. <laughs> Let's do one more. This is called Sleepy Bird by Jeremy Tankard. Sleepy Bird. He's the same person who wrote Grumpy Bird, if you've ever read that. I don't know. Do you think any of these birds look grumpy? I don't think so. Whoa, Mr. Eagle just fell off. That's all right. Well, I'll pick him up. Sorry, Mr. Eagle. That'll make you grumpy, won't it? All right, sleepy bird. It was bedtime, but bird was not ready to go to sleep. Have you ever felt that way? It's bedtime and you just aren't tired, or at least you don't think you are. His wings wanted to flap. His legs wanted to run. All of him wanted to play. Whee, said Bird. It's party time. Fox was getting cozy when he heard Bird coming. Goodness, said Fox. That's a lot of noise for bedtime. I'm not tired, said Bird. Maybe if you hugged my blankie, said Fox. It helps me get sleepy. 
Splanky schmanky, said Bird. Let's play. Fox was too sleepy to play, so Bird went to find Beaver. Hmm. It's bedtime, Bird, said Beaver. Bedtime is for babies, said Bird. How about I read you a story, said Beaver. How about you don't, said Bird. He tapped Beaver on the arm. Tag, you're it. Bird ran to Rabbit's house, but Beaver didn't follow. Everybody says it's bedtime, said Bird, but I'm not tired. Want to snuggle my stuffed kitty, asked Rabbit. A stuffed cat, said Bird. Are you trying to give me nightmares? <laughs> Birds are afraid of cats, aren't they? Bird went to find Raccoon. Raccoon, said Bird, you'll play with me, right? It's bedtime, said Raccoon. I'm going to sing a soft lullaby. Rock-a-bye, baby, and drift off to sleep. But you're nocturnal, said Bird. Why won't anyone play? Remember how the owls are nocturnal? Well, raccoons are too. They like to be up at night. Bird flounced over to Sheep's place. You know what you need, said Sheep. New friends, suggested Bird. You need to count sheep, said Sheep. That always helps me fall asleep. But there's only one of you, said Bird. How can you get sleepy counting to one? <laughs> Bird stormed off. If no one would play with him, he would just walk forever. After a little while, his wings drooped, his legs crumpled. I am not tired, he cried. Why should I go to sleep? Bird's friends heard his cries and came running. Fox covered Bird with his blankie. Beaver read a story. Rabbit tucked his stuffed kitty under Bird's wing. Raccoon sang a quiet song. Sheep counted herself until she got to one more times than she could count. <laughs> I am not sleepy, mumbled Bird as his eyes closed. Finally, said his friends. I thought he'd never fall asleep, said Fox. They lay down near Bird and slept. Bird rolled over. He opened his eyes. He yawned and stretched. Hiya, chirped Bird. Who wants to play? <laughs> I don't think they were quite ready. That was Sleepy Bird. I hope you enjoyed our bird stories today. today. And I hope to see you again soon. I think we're, we're, it's almost been a year since we've been doing story time this way. I still miss you. Let's do our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Have a good week. Hope you see some fun birds. 